Hey, I'm Caroline. This is Tin Tiny Toes Yoga, and we're going to do an energetic, you feel great prenatal flow. So get some stretchy pants and grab a mat and let's get flowing. All right, so we're gonna get started today um, with your hips elevated on a blanket or a mat. So I have one of those typical yogi mats, but you can use any blanket that you have in your house, um, a pillow, a cushion, a towel, but just make it enough folding it up double probably so that you can elevate your hips off of the ground and not put so much pressure into your knees. So I want you guys to close your eyes, to take a deep breath, and to just center down on your mat. Find yourself present, find yourself in the here and the now. And before we begin today, let's take just a little check-in with our body to see how we're feeling, where we're holding on to any tension or any anxiety, and just to set our mind and our intention for our class today. So let's take two deep breaths, cleansing breaths, in through our nose, out through our mouth. So root down onto your mat. You can wiggle out those fleshy bits under your sits bones. Feel that connection. Do whatever leg co is comfortable for you. They can be crossed, they can be out, whatever is working for you. And find your spine straight and tall on your mat, trying to really stack those vertebrae on top of each other. Your shoulders are down and wide away from your ears. Your neck is elongated. Your hands are resting down on your knees. And let's begin those breaths. So take a deep breath in through your nose. And then open up your mouth. Let go of all of that tension, all of those anxieties or doubts or fears that you have. And you have more than this. That. So let's do it one more time. Inhale deeply in through your nose. Just feel like you're pulling everything from all the corners of your body into the back of your throat. Open up your mouth. <sighs> Just let it all go. It doesn't serve you. Lick your lips. Close your mouth. And let's try to start breathing in and out through our nose. So right away, we're going to start tapping in to our energy, into our being. And before we get there, we want to connect first with our babies. Just to check in with them and have this one moment. So taking your hands, resting them both on your belly, take a moment, closing your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose, and exhale through your nose again. One more time, deep breath in through your nose, exhale, As you take two more breaths, I want you to imagine that air coming into your lungs, into your bloodstream, and just circling down around your baby and just nourishing them and feeding them. And on those exhales, hug baby in. Kind of activate your core a little bit. One last one. Feeding baby, feeling them in their body. And then exhale, hugging them into your spine. Excellent. Bringing our hands to prayer in front of our heart. I want you to take your thumbs, connecting them down to your heart center, nodding your head down, connecting your fingers to your forehead, and you'll feel a great stretch on the back of your neck, but I want you to set an intention for your class tonight. Maybe it's gratitude, maybe it's acceptance, maybe it's perseverance or not giving up or so whatever is going to help you to get through your class tonight, something positive that you want to build on with you and your baby. And let's seal in that intention and relax your hands down onto your knees and let's get started. So on an inhale, pinch your shoulder blades behind you, rolling your shoulders back, pushing your chest forward, lifting your throat. And then as you exhale, roll it back. So a little seated cat and cow, starting to bring some awareness to our spine. Inhale, open up, probably also feels good just to roll around on those hips. And exhale, rolling it back. Inhale, coming back up to neutral. We're gonna go into some side bends. So relaxing your right hand down on the mat, 
Inhale, circle that left arm around and up. Exhale, sink into the side, pushing both hips squarely down onto that mat. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, coming onto the other side. Awesome. Inhale, pushing yourself back up with that left arm. Let's go into some twists. So twist to your right. Your right arm comes behind you. Your left hand rests on top of your knee. Inhale here with a straight spine or as straight as you can get it. And if it's comfortable for you, you can exhale and look back over that right shoulder, nodding your head yes and no, and just finding some openness here. Perfect. And let's unwind. So we're going to slowly bring our hands through midline back up to the sky and exhale, twist to your left. Right hand comes across, left hand is behind you. Inhale here with the straight spine. And again, if it's comfortable, you can look back to your left and start to shake your head. Yes and no. Although these days with children, I say a lot more no's than yeses. And then unwind both arms back up to the sky. You're going to get there too, Mom. And exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Awesome. We're going to come into a tabletop position. So coming on to all fours, if you're on a hard floor, you can keep a, that towel or blanket under your knees, but open it up as wide as your mat, bringing your knees onto that blanket, walking your hands out in front of you. We're going to go into some cats and cows. So we're starting to build up some intensity here. On an inhale, you're going to let baby drop. Flare your glutes up, lifting your sternum, letting your heart shine forward. Exhale, hug baby up in, rolling your pelvis under, pushing the mat away. Looking back between your knees or in that general direction. Baby might be in the way. Inhale and open. Awesome. Exhale and close. One more time, cat and cow. Inhale, opening to your cow pose. Shoulders are squeezing down. My hands and my arms are soft. Exhale, pushing your back up to the sky, rolling your hips under, coming back to a neutral spine. Excellent. Now we're going to go into some spinal balance to work on our core. So on an inhale, I want you to take your right leg and to extend it out behind you. Finding these parallel hips, so you might want to lower your right hip down. Push your right foot back like you're pushing into the wall, keeping those toes flexed. Turn your big toe down towards the middle. If you feel that glute engage, you can come around here and feel that glute to make sure that, yep, it's working. And then let's switch. Bring your right knee down. Keeping your hips parallel, inhale, push that left foot back like you're pushing something away from you. Your hands are both rooted firmly into the mat. You've got equal pressure. You're lowering your left hip, making it parallel to the mat, turning your big toes down. And then exhale, bring your left foot back down. Going back to your right, extend that right leg back behind you. You can stay here or you can add your left arm out in front. So keep your head down. You want to think about that skin on the back of your neck as being flat. Your thumb is up. It's like you're shaking the hand of someone in front of you. We're working our lower and our upper back on this. And then exhale, release. Opposite side. Left leg goes back. Right arm goes forward. Finding that alignment, lowering your left hip, pulling your shoulders away from your ears, arm is extended out, head is down, and release. We're going to continue to add on to this with a little spinal crunch. So this is a good crunch to do because it's those transverse abdominals that are going to help you to push baby out. So here we go. Extend that right leg back behind you. Extend your left arm, find that balance, and on an exhale, you're going to bring your elbow and knee to meet underneath you. Maybe they just wave. Maybe you're early enough in your trimesters, you can still touch. But inhale and extend, really breath awareness. 
exhale, push that breath out. Inhale and extend and release. Opposite side, good job. Extend that left foot out, your right arm forward. Find that balance, push into that left hand, sink your ears away from your shoulders. Imagine someone is pulling your body apart. You're building up so much strength. Inhale, exhale, crunch, elbow to knee. Inhale and extend. Exhale, crunch, elbow to knee. Inhale and extend, release. Hand comes down, knee comes down. We're gonna continue with some glute strength. Y'all are building up a lot of pressure. I'm proud of you, here we go. Extend that right foot back behind you again. Now just, just your right foot is out. We're straight leg, I want you to pulse it for eight, seven, just slightly lifting it up and down, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bend your knee like you're putting your footprint on the ceiling and pulse again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop your right knee down, but it's not going to stay. We're lifting it up to the side, working on that hip strength for one. We're just doing four, you've got it. Two, down, three, down, four, down. Knees come wide, big toes touch. Push it back for a child's pose. So just stretching out your hips, Baby's coming down between your knees. Take your knees as wide as you need to and try to lower your body down as much as you can. If you are having indigestion or you just can't come down that far, you can stay here. This is a birthing position, so it's a great one to practice to help to open up your hips. And we're getting warmed up, so you should be able to get a little further into it. But if you can, start to walk your hands out, trying to bring your head down to the mat, releasing your neck, releasing the pressure in your upper spine. Excellent. And now come on back up. We've got to do both sides or you'll be walking around in circles. All right. Reestablish your hands underneath you. Commit to this practice. You can do this. Let's start on our left side. So kick that left leg back. Lower your left hip, straight and strong. You're pushing evenly into both hands. And let's pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knee, footprint on the ceiling. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee down and then out to the side. Little fire hydrants. Here we go for four, three. This is a great one to help if you're starting to get those loose hips. Two, one. You did it. Yay! Okay, take your knees wide, toes together, push your hips back. One more time, just resetting. I'm so proud of you. Okay. And releasing that tension one more time. Taking that deep breath. If you want to grab a drink of water, you can grab that drink of water now. And then slowly start to walk your hands back towards your knees, coming in to standing. So we're gonna work a little bit on our quadriceps here and our leg strength. So I want you to inhale both arms up to the sky. As you sit back, you're going to cactus your arms and sit your hips back towards your heels. And then you're gonna fire up those glutes and you're gonna Inhale, squeeze back up. So squeeze your tush to lift. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, squeeze it up. 
Two more. Exhale. Down. Inhale. Squeeze. Last one. Exhale. Down. Inhale. Squeeze. Excellent job. Coming into camel pose, bring your hands around and onto your backside like you're putting them into the back pockets of some jeans. Tuck your toes under, it'll help you with your balance. And I want you to squeeze your elbows together behind you. Squeeze your glutes to protect your low back. Push your hips forward, just get that stretch on those round ligaments and lifting your throat up to the sky. Take a nice deep breath. And then exhale. You're going to slowly, tucking your toes under, bring your hips down to your heels, into your hero's pose here. You can stay right here with this modified hero's pose. You're just stretching out the bottoms of your feet. Or if you'd like to go a little bit further, you can take your hands behind you. And once again, just take a deep breath. We're not pushing our chest up. We're just allowing our chest to open up, not dropping our head back. Our head is still in alignment with our spine. Awesome. And then slowly, one at a time, coming back on up. Roll your feet under, bringing your hips down into that squat position. Hands are going to come to prayer, just holding this for a moment. Again, this is that birthing position, which is really good for opening up our hips. And then bringing your hands to your knees, roll back and come on, on up halfway just into this slow position here. So we're not coming up all the way because we'll probably get super dizzy. So I want you just to come up halfway right now. Let that blood reposition realign down into your body and we're going to do a like halfway standing cat and cow so on an inhale still resting your hands on your knees you're going to lift your chest forward pulling those shoulders back really activating those back muscles and then exhale roll baby up and slowly straighten your legs and slide on up into standing awesome job Step over your mat, leaving that blanket there. It's going to come in handy in just a minute. We're at the front of our mats here, relaxing your hands down by your side. Take a step as wide as you need to, just to accommodate for baby. And inhale, circle your arms around and up. Exhale, forward fold. So hands are coming down through your midline. Bending your knees as much as you need to, to come on down. It's our first one here. Taking your feet a little bit wider if you need to, if you're finding out baby's hitting your thighs, you can step a little bit wider. Bending those knees a whole lot. There's no need to have them straight. But interlace your arms at the elbows and let your head hang just a little bit. Swaying from side to side if that feels good or just staying in that position. We're not going to stay here long, so right now I want you to slide your hands up your shins. Inhale, halfway lift. So now you're slightly straightening your legs, pushing your hands down, really getting that flex in your back. Exhale, forward fold. Big bend in your knees, sitting all the way down like you're in a chair. And then bringing your hands up to prayer position. So you're in a chair pose right here, building up that heat in our legs. Inhale, squeeze your glutes, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands come around and down. Step your left foot towards the center of your mat and take a step back with your right. Coming over that blanket if it's still on your mat. Bring your right knee down to the mat. Untuck your right toes. Walk your left foot forward just a couple of inches. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward. So you're pushing your hips forward, feeling the stretch along your right quadricep, maybe into your right, like round ligaments of that thigh, pulling your body up, pushing back, feeling this energy rising up, down, not rising up and down, but rising up through your mula bandha. 
And then as you exhale, coming, bringing your torso back up, bringing your hands to your hips for stability, and then flex your left toes up and lean forward just a little bit. So you're gonna feel this great stretch in those left hamstrings. And then slowly bring your bend back into your left knee. Take both hands, slide that left foot back. Walk them back just a little bit so you're kind of in a modified plank. So you're not on all fours. Your hips aren't directly above your knees. Your hips are gonna be coming forward. We're trying to get this straight line from your kneecaps to the tip of your head. And we're gonna do some chaturanga push-ups. We have to keep on remembering about activating our arms. So for chaturanga push-up, your elbows are gonna graze the side of your body. So you're just coming down a little bit and then push yourself back up. Inhale, come on down. Exhale, push it back up. One more. Inhale, coming on down. Exhale, pushing it back up. You can tuck your toes under, push back for one little child's pose if that feels good. And then we're gonna come into the other side. So I want you to take now your right knee, slide it forward. You can help it out with your hand if you need to. Untuck those left toes, slowly pull yourself up. Once again, let that blood redistribute through your body. Make sure that you feel like you've passed that phase of dizziness. And then inhale, both arms up. Walk those right toes forward just a little bit. Sink your shoulders away from your ears. And exhale, hinge it forward, pulling up, rooting through that mula bandha, building that energy in your body, stretching your left quadricep, your left hip flexors. And then exhale, hands come to your hips, pushing your hips back flexing those right toes up towards the sky. Awesome. Put the bend back in that right foot. Hands come wide on your mat, and we're gonna bring our left foot up to the front of the mat. So you can slowly slide it up. I brought my mat with me, I had to push it back. Feet are still wide on that mat. Hands come to your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. So straighten out your legs, straighten out your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Putting that generous bend back in your knees. Inhale, slowly reverse swan dive all the way back up to standing. Exhale, release your hands down by your side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Step your left foot back towards the middle of your mat. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Nope. Inhale, both arms. Inhale, both arms around and up to the sky. And exhale, you're just gonna take them down to your hips. Pick up your right foot. Big step back on that mat again. Drop your right heel down, opening up to warrior two. So your hips are open to the wide part of your mat. Your left knee is bent. It's going in the same direction as your left toes and you can see your left toes. My right foot is at a little angle at the back of my mat. My arms are extended out straight and strong. All right, we're gonna start really getting into our legs. Now these are warrior poses. So they're like strong like a warrior. So we can't sissy out during these because warriors are tough. And you're a warrior, so let's do this. So we're in warrior two right now. Can you sink down another inch, bringing that left thigh parallel to the floor? Maybe a little bit more. And then inhale, straighten your left leg. Bring your arms to meet above your head. And then exhale, sink on down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let your right arm slide down that right thigh. Inhale, lift that left arm around and up to the sky for reverse warrior here. And then exhale, come back to warrior two 
and we're going to go to side angle. So it's not a warrior pose, it's a little bit easier. You can rest your left elbow on that left knee. Slide that right arm down and inhale, peel it up to the sky, feeling this opening across your chest. If your balance is good, you can take your gaze up to your fingertips. If you're not positive about your balance, keep it low, your gaze low down at the ground. All right. Inhale, coming back to warrior two. You're gonna push off into that warrior two pose. Straighten out both legs. Heel toe in that right foot just a little bit to shorten your stance. I have two straight legs. Bump your hips to the back of your mat. Lean forward. When you can't lean anymore, drop your hands. You're in triangle pose. So you should see a lot of angles here. So I, I've got two straight legs trying to bring my torso closer to parallel. I'm just trying to feel this great stretch on my left inner thigh and all down the right back side. I loved this posture when I was pregnant. Awesome. All right. Now we're going to turn to face the front of our mat again. So put the bend back in your left knee. Bring your torso up. Turn both hips. So now you're facing the front of your mat and you're going to step off into standing on your left leg, coming into a little warrior three. So slowly bring your hands up to the sky. If that's too much for your shoulders, you can bring them to your chest. And notice I am not floating all the way down my body parallel to the mat. There's no need. You can do it if you'd like a bigger stretch on that left leg. But right now I'm just firing up the glute on my right side. And then slowly bringing your right foot through to standing. You can touch it down if you need to, or you can just bring it straight up. You're gonna grab it with your right hand and just pull it into your chest, making some circles with your wrist, I'm sorry, with your ankles. And then lower that foot back down. You can wiggle out your hips just a little bit. And let's go into the other side. All right, so right foot's coming closer to the center of your mat. Inhale your arms around and up to the sky. Exhale, circling your arms around and down to your hips. Pick up your left leg. Step your left leg back on your mat. It's a big step back. Get that balance. And then drop your left heel down. And coming into your warrior two. So again, my hips are open up to the wide part of my mat. My right thigh and my right toes are going in the same direction and I can see my right toes. I'm not overextending my ankle. Extend your arms out to either side and just play with the balance in the posture in that right leg. So now we're going to add those strength moves again. So maybe sinking down one more inch. Inhale, straighten everything up. Exhale, sink on down into it. Inhale, up, exhale, sink. One more. Inhale, up, exhale, warrior two. We're going to go into that reverse warrior again. So inhale, lean forward. Don't change anything about your legs. Flip that right palm over. Left hand slides down your left thigh. And inhale, leaning back. Feeling this stretch all the way down the right side of your body. And then inhale, coming back up to warrior two. Right elbow sinks down to your right knee, sweeping your left arm down, and we are in our side angle pose. So feeling this stretch across your chest. If you have to keep your gaze down, that's fine. Relaxing your right hand really onto that needle. Allow your hips to sink a little bit further down. And then inhale, slowly come back up to warrior two. Straighten out both of your legs. Heel toe in that back foot just a little bit to shorten your stance. And we're gonna go to triangle pose. So with two straight legs, I'm bumping my hips to the back of my mat, leaning forward as far as I can. When I can't lean anymore, I bring my hand down to my shin, maybe the mat, maybe a block, just not your knee. And hold right here in your triangle pose. 
Feeling the stretch all on that left side body, underneath your right hip, right leg. It feels so good. Take one more deep breath in. And then slowly put the bend back in your right foot. Bring your torso back up to the sky slowly. Turn so now you're back facing the front of your mat. And we're going to come into that modified warrior three standing on your right leg. So start to shorten your stance. You can bring your arms up. You can bring them down to prayer. And then squeeze that left leg behind you. So I'm activating my glute, my low back. If you are an experienced yogi or you've got it in, you feel free to go into warrior three and lower your torso down. But for right now, I just want you guys to think about squeezing that glute. And now we're gonna come into that staff pose to stretch out one more time. You can touch your left toes down for balance if you need to, but then pull that left knee up, grab it with your left hand, maybe with both hands if you need to, and just feel that stretch one more time. Excellent. Slowly roll your hips back down. And now we're gonna step to the wide part of our mat and come into some sunflowers. So I alternate between a sunflower and a goddess sumo squat here. And let me show you or you can join along if you know it. So you're on the wide part of your mat. My heels are in, my toes are out at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna inhale, open my arms out. I'm in this five pointed star horse pose. They all have a million names, but you'll catch on. And then as you exhale, you're going to sink your knees out to the side and bring your hands down to a prayer squat just to feel it out the first time. Awesome. Inhale, come on up. And now exhale, sunflowers. So scoop some sunflowers. Inhale and straighten up. And then exhale, goddess squat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sunflowers. Exhale, squat. My elbows are wide, my chest is up, my knees are pulling apart. Inhale, up. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, up. Exhale, squat. Awesome. Bring your hands down to your knees and just relax here for a minute. You can dip your shoulders. Just do what feels good to you in this posture. Getting your breath, still allowing those hips to open up a little bit more. Everything about prenatal yoga is about helping to prepare your body for childbirth so that you have a quick, amazing delivery and that you can get back to feeling amazing really quickly. Pushing down through your heels, straighten out your hips, bringing your toes forward. We're just gonna go into some light lunges. So bringing your hands to your prayer center, bend your right knee, sinking over to the right side, sinking your hips back towards the wall behind you. Inhale and come up. Exhale, sink down to the other side. Inhale up, one more on each side. Exhale and sink. Inhale up. Exhale, sink. Awesome job. All right. Slowly lower your hands, heel toe your feet together, and we're going to come to sitting down on our mat. Now, if you do need a drink of water, now's a good time just to pause and to go get your drink of water, and then you can join us back on our mat. But coming onto your mat, we're going to start in a butterfly position. So down on butterfly, the heels of our feet are meeting. I want you to see if you can just open up your feet, kind of like you would open up a book, just to give your feet a little bit of love. They're going through a lot. This is tough on them too. So just make sure that you're stretching them out. It'll help you with those Charlie horses and everything that happen at night. And your feet will get bigger. Mine did. I now shop with like Ronald McDonald for the, boot, the big, big red shoes. My feet are that big and they don't go back. Truth, pregnancy truth. Okay, now we're gonna go into some stretching. Extend your right leg out, bring your left foot in. 
Inhale your arms around and up to the sky. And now we're going to sway. So swaying over to the right. This is just a nice soft sway, bringing it over to the left. Always using your bottom hand to help push you up. We don't want to engage our obliques when we're pregnant. That just assist with that diastasis recti, which we don't want, that ab split. So we're stretching, but we're not trying to flex our obliques. All right, so one more time. We're coming down to the right. See if you can just really hold this for another minute. Maybe you can reach your toes. Maybe you can pull your toes up. Maybe you can reach your left arm over. Maybe your left arm has to be down. Whatever is comfortable for you, hold this just for this extra beat. And then inhale. Both arms come up to the sky. Exhale. Plant your left hand by your left knee, pushing down through your right heel. Extend up as you push your hips up towards the sky for this beautiful full body stretch. And then exhale and come down. Slide that right foot across. I'm sorry, your left foot across. And then take your right foot over the left. If you can't do that, you can just leave it here. But we're just coming into a little bit of cow space here. So we're trying to stack our knees. This might be difficult. If baby is really low, you can bring it out wide and stack them over here so that you've got all of this space. But this is a lot deeper into those hip joints. And I'm just trying to stretch your quads on this one. So just staying up tall on this. Inhale, lift both arms up to the sky. Drop your right arm behind your head, bending your right elbow. And then just staying up here, holding your left hand, pushing that right arm behind you for a great stretch through your triceps, through your chest, through your shoulders, through your lats. Staying here for one more breath. Awesome. And then release, bringing your hands back down. We're going to go to the other side. So slowly, maybe pushing back a minute, extending your left leg long, bringing your right leg in, flexing those left toes up towards the sky. We're going to start that sway again. So inhale, both arms up to the sky. And exhale, going over to the left. Inhaling up and over to the right. Just slowly imagining that we're opening up all of those little muscles that tuck into the base of our spine, opening and swaying. All right, on your left side now, keep this side bend just a beat longer. Flexing those left toes up, keeping your sits bones neatly rooted down into the mat. Extending that right arm long, feeling that stretch. And then inhale, bring both arms back up to the sky. Plant your right hand right by that right knee, pushing down through your left foot. Extend, opening up, feeling this stretch from your toes to your fingertips, feeling that great full body stretch. And then exhale, lowering your hips back down. Now we're going to come either into that seated twist or the fire logs pose again, or cow's face. So you've got a lot of variations depending on where you're feeling. So if baby's really low and right in front, just come into the fire log pose, stacking your ankle above your knee, your knee above your ankle. If you can get that left leg across, maybe you have to extend your right leg long. You're coming into a twist, and remember it's an open twist. So you're twisting away from your knee. Or if you can bring your knees to stack, we're coming into that cow's face pose. So you're walking your feet forward. You're just aligning your knees, bringing them closer towards the midline. You'll feel this right along that IT band, the outside of your quads, right up in the top parts of your legs. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Bend your left elbow using your right arm, pushing it down and back, lifting your chest up. Don't let this pull your head down. Really use your head to engage and to help to lift you up. Awesome. And then release, bringing both arms down to the mat. We are going to come in to our final Shavasana. So 
whatever is going to work for you. If you are still laying on your back, if you're in that first trimester or less than 20 weeks, you can do that. Most of you, I think, will choose to lay on your left side. So I will join you there. And just coming down into your Shavasana, slowly lowering down. You can take a bolster and put it under your head. You can take a blanket, putting it between your knees just to help to alleviate some of that pressure in your hips. And laying all the way down. We're going to take a moment here and really let our body settle down. So we had a very energetic practice tonight. We really built up some heat um, and got some strength into your body. This is an ideal practice for your second trimester or that beginning part of your third when you have a lot of strength and we're trying to build up your stamina. But please remain down here as long as your schedule, as long as your life permits. And before I let you go, recall your intention from the beginning of class today. Maybe your intention was for patience or gratitude or acceptance. But I want you to take a moment as you're laying here in these final moments of your practice today, just you and that baby, and to recall that intention. Why was that important to you? And what is that going to do to help you to be a better mother, to be more accommodating for the things going on in your life? I know how hard it is for you and I, I see you, I appreciate you, and I know that you are the best person for this job. You are gonna be an amazing mother. So, going forth, let there be peace and love in your thoughts, peace and love in your words, and peace and love in your heart. From my heart to yours and that one beating fiercely inside your chest. Namaste.